Deuce.com. Uh, I'm Stevenson, and Stevenson and Deuce Duo. Um, today we are making bacon, and we're going to be doing um, three different styles of bacon. Uh, basically, they're just different different flavorings. We're going to be doing sort of a cinnamon, allspice, sort of peppery thing. Uh, we're going to be doing a traditional maple bacon, and we're going to be doing a pancetta style, sort of garlic thyme bacon. Um, so we have our basic ingredients here. We have our lovely pork belly. That's about 20 pounds worth of pork belly there. You can see it still has the skin on. This is actually a fairly important thing. You want to make sure that the skin is still on it. It um, provides a buffer between the cure and the meat. So I found that uh, my bacon turns out a lot less salty when the skin is on there. We have a beer, um, which is to drink while you're making the bacon. That's the curing salt. It has a bit of nitrite in it, and it also has a bit of dextrose. And then here's our spices for the uh, five spice type uh, cinnamon thing, and then these are the spices for the pancetta style. Uh, this is the maple syrup for the maple syrup styled bacon. Basically what we're going to do first up is we're going to prepare the spice mixes. So we're going to throw those, uh, we're going to throw those into the fry pan and uh, sort of get them to release a bit of their oils. We're going to grind them up, we're going to mix them with some cure and we're going to rub these bellies up. And we're going to cut up the pork belly into um, sort of three to five pound chunks. And here we have it, Mount Bacon. That would make one hell of a sandwich. There are a couple of different ways that you can apply your cure to the bacon. If you're mixing it with spices, uh, I find the best way to do it is to measure it out. And you're looking at about a quarter of a cup per three pound slab. That's about 50 grams. So there's a lot of discussion about whether or not uh, nitrites are actually um, necessary in the curing of bacon. Um, there's sort of a lot of people who are staunchly against it. There's a lot of people who say, you know, use nitrites or die uh, of botulism. Um, personally, I, I don't mind a little bit, you know, these are, this, this cures a very mild amount of nitrite, it's mostly salt and sugar, um, and, you know, the added level of, uh, of safety, what, what they do is they, in fact, um, well, they do two things, they prevent botulism, they kill the botulism spores, uh, and then the other thing is, uh, it actually changes the way that the myoglobin in the meat works. Um, so it retains its nice sort of red color uh, when you cook it. Okay, so bags are made, uh, spices are mixed up with the cure. Uh, we're ready to start rubbing, rubbing some bacon. Okay, so we're going to start with our uh, sort of cinnamon bacon. Sort of apply some of that cure there. You want to get that sort of worked in as best as you can into all the little nooks and crannies here. Get a good rub. Oh, that smells unbelievable. It's fennel, allspice, cinnamon, cloves. Delicious. Flip it on over. Skin side. Ooh, just a little hair on there. A bit of pig hair. And some nipples, too. Look at the nipples there. Pork nipples. That's going to be the uh, Stevenson and Deuce um, delicacy. <laughs> yes, dear, I'd like an order of a dozen pork nipples. I'm using vacuum bags. You don't have to use a vacuum bag. You can use a, you can use a, a Ziploc bag. You can use, a, well, a Ziploc bag is actually probably the best way to do it. Um, I've been using Ziploc bags uh, up to this point. Uh, the vacuum packer just basically allows uh, an extra level of security uh, as uh, there's sort of no air uh, reaching the meat. But uh, with a Ziploc bag, you just have to make sure you get as much air out of the Ziploc as you possibly can and that you keep flipping it day to day to make sure that there's no sort of, uh, that any area that might be exposed to air is sort of submerged in the, in the cure um, uh, as you're sort of going through the curing process. And there we go. Freshly vacuum packed bacon ready for a bit of time in the fridge. All right, here we go. So we have our cinnamon bacon, we have our pancetta styled bacon with some thyme in there, 
and then we've got our maple bacon. Now what's going to happen is these are going to sit in the fridge uh, for about a week. Um, I'm going to turn them every day to just sort of make sure that that uh, uh, cure is sort of moving around on the surface of the meat. What's going to happen is the meat's going to release a lot of liquid, so it's going to form almost like a brine. The idea is, is that we want to um, leave this in the cure until the meat starts to firm up, till it starts to feel like it's not sort of squishy and raw anymore. And at the point that it starts to feel a little bit firm, that's when we take it out of the cure and we smoke it. So over the course of the week, we'll check in with the with the bacon. But uh, for now, that's basically it.